Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to Break 75. Uh, down here at Formby Golf Club today, one that we've never done a Break 75 at. Really excited about this, because the golf course here is quite simply spectacular. Front nine kind of goes through this tree line section. It's stunning, you're gonna really enjoy that. Some of the big pine trees and stuff. And then the back nine, it becomes much more linksy. Um, you might notice I'm rather chilled, because I am today, super chilled. Uh, I've just been on holiday. I've not played golf in the real world. And on YouTube, you might have seen me play golf more recently than this. I've actually not played a full round of golf for three weeks. I've been practicing eating and drinking a lot, not been practicing my golf. So I've just hit a few on the driving range. It was okay. Nothing to kind of uh, write home about. I've uh, just been watching Guy clip a few away as well. He seems like they're hitting it well. I reckon all he's done for three weeks is practiced. Let's head out. Um, yeah. Don't know what to expect. The plan is to try and break 75, but who knows? It's a real shame because just before I went on holiday, I felt like my game was trending quite nicely. That might still be there. That magic dust might still be present, but it also might have gone completely away and you're in for a high, high score. Formby Golf Club, break 75. So I heard Rick say that he thinks that I've been hitting balls the last three weeks in practice, and you know what? That's correct. I've been absolutely nailing the driving range. Hitting it well, so I'm very excited for today. And I'm also very excited to see how Rick gets on because this will go one way or the other. He's got very low expectations. So that means he's either gonna go out and shoot an amazing score or he's gonna go out and have an absolute nightmare. Either way, he's a win-win because it's gonna be good to watch. Make sure you watch to the end because it's gonna be a good one. Okay, let's do this. First hole. Uh, 394 yards. Now, quick one, not all the tees are out in play today, so we're actually gonna play off the yellows, which is still 6,500 past 72. Uh, I'm gonna hit a three iron for safety. Strike. Oh, sit down a bit. I think it's okay, stayed short. Oh, just. <laughs> There's a bunker down there that I thought to myself, if I hit this really, really well, I might get in it. Luckily it stayed, by the looks of things, a couple of yards short. That'd have been annoying if I hit that for safety and hit it in the bunker. Guy's gone with big stick. It's a healy one. It'll work some line to mine, but it might just sneak in the rough. What's your goal today, Guy? 62. Okay, nice. <laughs> no. Break 65. My goal today is to not lose a golf ball which is very ambitious, very bold, um, to enjoy it and to destroy the chills. You've not played it before, have you? Never. So that's my excuse if I don't beat you. But um, no, I'm feeling confident today. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. The range sessions are going well. Found some love with the driver. You've not been playing. This is my chance to take you down. If you don't now, you never will. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> just for a minute, as we walk down this first hole, just appreciate that clubhouse. I mean, it's a thing of beauty, it really is. 1884, this golf course opened. Okay, 143 yards to the flag. Wind's just picking up a tiny bit and it's actually slightly downwind. So I'm gonna hit this about 130 yards and hopefully it just rolls out. Be nice. Should be all right, that. Should be pin high, just slightly left. Hopefully we've got a nice little putt for birdie. Kick, start off the campaign. Oh my word. Felt great over that and I just absolutely shanked it perfectly from the hosel. It went up, far, right, terrible. Get this somewhat close, hopefully, knocking the par. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Greens look incredible. One of the things around here, the greens are quite Kind of expansive, quite big, but there's lots of big hollows and swales. None of them are flat. More my surprise than maybe yours watching. I've got... Perfect timing. An opportunity to jump on the birdie train nice and early. Let's see if we can start this off with a bang. I feel like my whole expectation levels might change if this drops in. <laughs> I feel like suddenly I'm going to be like, I'm going to shoot like 65, but let's not get carried away. Okay, up the hill, right to left. Let's knock her in. Can't see it missing, to be honest with you. 
Ah. Oh, <laughs> and now, now I'm fighting for par already. <laughs> Welcome back to Golf Rickshields. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought, give it a chance at least. Oh, somehow makes a par from there. That's good. <sighs> I feel like the golf gods are like, don't be getting cocky, Rick. <laughs> don't think you can come back to this game after three weeks and think you still got it. Let's knock this one in for par at least. Brilliant. <laughs> As I said before, who knows how today's going to go? <laughs> Not two shots, nicely into the green, walk off with bogey. Guy hits driver, scrappy, shanks his wedge, gets up and down for par. <laughs> Golf A, eh? second hole, par four, 381 yards. Uh, bunkers all kind of scattered down the right hand side and then an almighty spiky gauze bush on the left hand side so uh, you've got 15 yards to hit it through really my goal today is to not lose a golf ball Okay, so with that nice mental image in my mind, <laughs> let's, try and, uh, let's try and split a fairway. Yeah, that's great, hit me too. Drawing, should be fine. Great shot. Great shot. Thank you. We're good. We go again. There we go. There's the ball. Is that it? I am 70 yards away from this pin in a perfect position, quite literally perfect. So let's make it count. Is it hard? Sit. Yeah. Very good, very nice. I feel hyper chill today. You might be able to tell. I feel, still feel like I'm on holiday, to be honest with you. But that's not true because if I was on holiday, I'd probably have a beer in my hand and a burger in my other one. Yeah, this doesn't miss. Let's get. Let's get back to level par and let's get the birdie sauce out. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, that's so hard. I just gotta knock it in. I just, that's all I've gotta do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Two holes played, two fairways, Two greens in regulation, two three putts, two bogeys, two over. Thanks for coming. Okay, interesting start to the round. Said it was going to be good today. Said it was going to be a... Not sure which way it was going to go and I didn't expect it to go the way it's gone so far. Uh, third hole is a par five though, a very, very gettable one. So let's uh, let's hit a fairway, let's hit a green again. Let's... Three putt par? Three putt. <laughs> Shot. Looking in draw. I'm not getting too excited because I've actually come up on the green and I'm actually quite a bit away compared to the first two holes at least. Okay, for Eagle. Come on, Rick. Hit the flag. Oh! oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. oh. <laughs> Dead straight, right in the middle. Yes. Wasn't quite right in the middle, but we'll take a birdie and we'll eliminate those three putts. Oh, roller coaster first three holes, back to one over par. Why, why would I not hit driver? Scared? There's quite a lot of bunkers down there. Mm. Oh, don't you dare go in that bunker. Oh, you plonker. Oh. oh real bad mistake that. Yeah, that's a good shot. That is position A. That was flushed. It's quite chilled a couple of holes ago. You might have been able to tell. That shot has just reminded me why golf can be so frustrating. And the only positive news, I'm 90 yards away from the green. Mm, it's not on the green, but it's okay. Twenty yards short. 
Before my jollies, I was deadly from here. And now I'm dreadful again. Ah. Kind of a good job it hit the hole. Yeah, nice. Four holes played, no pars on the card. Yeah, good work, good up and down. Thank you. Bird. So me. 158, eight iron. Today's the day, it's a weird round of golf. I can feel a hole in one. Anything could happen today. Anything could happen. Play a little bit off the left, because I think that wind's pretty strong. Well, it's a bit toey and pulley. Might be a bit short as well. I know. I think eight's too much for you. Mm, I kind of chip one. Okay. Oh, travel. Take a couple of hops. I don't know what's down there, I can't remember. Okay, after a scrappy iron shot into this green, I'm pin high but right. Guys on the green, pin high but left, a nice result. Uh, I have been trying to chip these a little bit more recently, but the lie just isn't perfect. So I'm gonna bring old trusty putter out, considering it's been so good for me. And break. Hmm. God, I'm finding it very difficult to get close to the hole at the moment. Go on, guys, for back to back birdies. Got to say it. Perfect line, just of literally well too hard. For par, left to right, slightly down the hill. Come on, this will be. A... I feel like I'm going to get a lot of these today, so I need to start boxing a few. Not even, not even like a tiny bit close. Oh. Nice. So Rick has recommended it's probably a three with this hole. There's like a little cut out path here. That's the line apparently. So what Rick said, what I will do, I will deliver a little cut onto that path. Oh, I blocked it. It was a great strike though, but ah. Three, five holes, I'm three over now which uh, I don't know. Obviously you've seen how it happened, but I actually don't also know how it happened. <laughs> so let's try and make some birdies. Let's try, let's try, let's try and make a par. Like I've not actually made a, a par yet. So three wood, little drawy one, just off those bunkers. Oh, that's too much. Should be all right still, but it is a fraction too much down the left side. Okay, so after a, Two minutes, 30 seconds of looking, anywhere from my golf bag all the way back, we've managed to find it here, way further back. 142 yards to the flag. Let me go pitching wedge. Oh, be good. I think the wind's hit it. Started off good, but I think the wind moved it too far to the right. Okay, just missed the green over the back. Let's just try and bite, put it close. That's all I'm going for. Nipped it, nipped it, nipped it. Good effort. I mean, but that's not even, no. I, I can't quite get it that close. That was not a bad chip either. Okay, so to make the first par of the day, or my first par of the day, shall I say. Nice. Just. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, we've got one. Seventh hole. This is where it starts to get interesting. The first few holes are quite open and quite nice to play, somewhat forgiving we now enter a, a period of holes where <laughs> that forgiveness has, has gone you've had your six warm-up holes it's time to hit it straight this is a phenomenal hole um just hit it as straight as you can quite simple i'm gonna hit driver that should be really good yeah nice held on to my breath a little bit, but that should actually be fine. It kind of, once you go over that hill, there's another fairway down there. It might just be left rough, but. The good thing with this hole, and it might sound stupid, it probably will sound stupid, it's that tight, it's almost not worrying me. Cause it's like, you have to sit down the middle. Straight. There's no other shot. I mean, what do you do? I'm gonna try and cut one into the wind and keep it straight. He's done it. Yeah, very similar shot to mine. They should both. Yeah, okay. it's bounced down. Yeah, they both should be perfect then. Okay, guy's going first. Right, just under 100 yards to go. Oh, it's a bit right. 
Yeah, should we go for this? Okay. Okay, I actually thought I'd hit the best tee shot I've ever hit on this hole, but it's come a little bit left and actually snagged a horrible lie in this rough. The good news is I'm 100 yards away. So come on, let's just put it middle of the green. 56 degree in hand. Oh, it'll be good. That could be great. Yeah, nice shot. Thanks, mate. I think it might just be a fraction short, but pretty, pretty good from that lie anyway. Okay, this is quite a tough shot. Might not look it on camera, but there's a bit of a slope to get up. So, inside a couple of, maybe a two foot I'd be happy with. Ah, oh, that's terrible. That's mm. really, really bad. I agree with you. <laughs> Thank you. I've been watching too much Rick Shields today. <laughs> I'm in total agreement. No, I'm the other way. You got to eight foot past. When you knock yours in, redeem us both. If you hold this, can we have a massive Tiger Woods fist bump? Yeah, might take my top off. No, I'm not doing that. Many doubted we'd ever see it. But here it is. The return to glory. <laughs> God, I'm doing it. Be honest. Yeah, just, just very quick, I'm going to take my top off. I know, yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> but so what's, that's what's packing under there. Okay. Big par save. If I hold mine, I'm also going to take my top off. Nice. Didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> Two over par now, through seven. Uh, it's been mixed, right? <laughs> it's been entertaining. Uh, par five, eight hole. It's a big, beautiful hole. This it sweeps right round to the left hand side. And if you can absolutely bomb one, very, very gettable in two. I think I'm feeling more optimistic now. I feel like I've potentially got a little bit of the rust off. If I can get my putter working, which that last hole proved I can, and it, no, it feels like it's about to start raining. That's weird, isn't it? I felt like it was dead warm a minute ago. Right, anyway, I'll hit this driver. Yeah. That is really nice. If it kicks left a touch. Great shot. Yeah, it has. Oh, it's a bit long, but it's fine. Okay, 196 yards to the flag. Par five. Um, six iron? Okay, I can hit a six about 190. Yeah, that's good. Oh my, golly gosh. Mm. 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 Okay, after hitting it way, way right, I'm in an odd position here. To be honest, I think I had too much club as well. Like if I'd have hit it straight, I'd have been way over the green. Um, guy's hit a really nice shot for his third. I've got to go on top of the green and it's going to roll down. Mm. It's got a nice shot here. Snaggly little Y. Travel a bit. Roll. Go Travel, on. at least hit the slope. Hit the slope. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Take your top off again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to do it again. Boom. All right. <laughs> Stop it, everyone. Stop making me take my top off all the time. <laughs> Mate, that was phenomenal. Well done. Okay, tapping birdie for bats about birdies. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Very, very, very good. <laughs> what an interesting round of golf. One par, three birdies, four bogeys, and a one over par. Take your top off more often. I think I should, key. I think I should. <laughs> Ninth hole. Great hole, this. Sweeping down onto the flat planes of the links as it goes slightly sweeping then to the right. 460 yards, but it looks a long way from back here. Like visually, it looks 500 plus yards. So a good tee shot needed down that left-hand side, right in the middle of the fairway, come on. Brilliant. A Barry Belter. <laughs> Golf shot. <laughs> yeah, that one definitely. Like, what did he do? Well, you know how this fairway changes color? Yeah. I actually thought I'd only just reached the fairway. Oh, right, but it's the... But it's, it's the fairway just changes colour because of the different types of grass. It's a healy one. It might be all right. Let's try and get one more birdie for this front nine. Jump up. 
Great shot. It could be a birdie as well. Getting closer. Okay, ninth hole, and I've got a tremendous look at birdie. This would cap off one of the strangest front nines of golf I think I would have ever played. Okay, so for the third birdie in a row, and to get back to level par, right to left. Oh, and I didn't think that was that hard. How's it gone so far past? <sighs> Damn. Right, let's not finish the front nine as I started it. Let's make sure I knock this one in. Yeah, nice. What over front nine would have taken that? Let's now see if we can stay strong, stay positive. Keep with some good golf, fighting into the back nine. So it's at this part of the show normally, I'll be tucking into a nice sausage roll. However, I can't actually remember if it's a halfway house here. It's not here at the halfway point. Sometimes there's a sneaky one on the 11th or 12th, isn't there sometimes? So we'll hold out. Part three is coming up. 10th hole, playing 175 yards, back into a tiny bit of breeze. Should be good for distance. Yeah. yeah, pin high left. Another shot. Position to mine. Yeah. Both dancing, not that close. Okay, up on the green, two looks for birdie. Just saying then as we walked up, like from the actual tee, mining guy's shot didn't look that brilliant. But because both shots are actually level with the pin, i.e. pin high, they look, they're closer. Not saying these are perfect, but they're definitely makeable. I think I've chased it. That looks great for speed. I know, fair enough. Yeah. I genuinely thought it wasn't going to get there. Really? I saw it the opposite way. I just thought once it gets past, do you want the flag out or? Please. Okay, for birdie down the hill, I, I feel like it's super straight. Just get the speed right. Drop it in the front door. Uh, right online. Oh, cannot get. I was scared of it. Mm. God, that was so bang on line. 11th hole, part four. Guy, you've not played here before. I've not. You'll start to see a very different side of the golf this course. This hole looks stunning. I love the dunes up the side. It gets so much more linksy. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a different this. golf course. So trees gets replaced with... Uh, Long, long rough. However, when you're in the fairway, no rough there. 123 yards away. I'm going to try and chip a pitching wedge. It's not my forte, but I've got to try these things. A little three quarter one. Just keep it below the wind. Just chip it in there. Be phenomenal. Oh, that's a great shot. It's a bit too much spin, but spot on. This is a big putt, literally, and I want to get it close. Oh, oh. It's a good roll, but... They just roll so far. They just keep going, don't they? Long range birdie putt. Oh, I've really... I've suddenly become really scared of these greens. The good thing is, I know when to hold this putt. Oh, you nod that. That was an early walk. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that nah, was this. <laughs> Tiger and Nat. Get me Nat. I was more bothered about the walking then than the actual putt itself. Get one chasing and just running low. He's called it. Yeah, and they just stay on the fairway. Yeah, that's nice. Should be all right. Well, I think it's kicked left. That was a Thomas to go again. Hundred and forty yards. Let's put this one close. Oh, a bit cutty. I mean, it's just an awkward stance. So hard to get a good connection. Don't kick. Ugh, really hard to get a good connection then. 
So look, right hard. Not a bad effort that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry everyone for punching in the face then. You know, I started this round, sat on that bench, chilling. Just like, yeah, no matter what happens today, no big deal. It goes well, it goes well, it goes bad, it goes bad. Golf somehow just like sucks you in and just makes you wanna makes you wanna believe. Makes you wanna think, no, I can be I can be a better version of myself. Mmm, no. For left! Not quite sure what's over there. It looks worse than its bite, some of this rough. 123 yards, back into a little breeze. I'm gonna chip a pitching wedge up there, but try and hit it kind of 130 yards in my head. Simmer on the wind. Mm, it's on the green, should be all right. Maybe a touch long. Okay, long range birdie putt. Right to left. That's short. No, that's not too bad. <laughs> 14th hole, par four, straight back into the teeth of the wind, uh, just slightly dog legs to the left. Really want to go at the clubhouse, the beautiful iconic clubhouse with a little draw. Okay, four and a half holes left to play, two over par. I've got to uh, not drop another shot for great 75. I feel like I've made plenty of birdies so far today, which has been a positive. There has been a handful of bogeys as well, so no silly mistakes. Uh, there's only one more par five coming up, which is the 17th. And then just a lot of holes, you just gotta hit just really good tee shots. What are you now, Guy? What's your score? I'm now six over par, which to me is not horrendous, but there's been obviously a couple of bad holes in there. So my goal really is to break 80, so I'm the same as you. I can, well, no, you can't drop any shots. I can drop one, but ideally I don't want to drop any. If I can break 80, I'd be chuffed yeah. with that. Yeah. 147 yards, but back into breeze. Come on, middle of the green is what I'm going for. Simmer, sit, sit. The wind did not touch it. Ah, that's frustrating. Looks good. I'm gonna try and just, just open the face and just flip it on the green. Ah, oh, thinned it. Simmer. Looks very good. Sin! <laughs> my goodness. That's ridiculous. Yes, I'm happy with that. Oh my word. Don't know what to say. That was one of those where I wanted to put it close and get the par, but to get the birdie, wow. That was such a long par. <laughs> Oh, back to my old ways. Yeah, well done. Oh, making it interesting. Suddenly with four holes to play, I've got to make a birdie. I've lost the drive a bit. Okay, 130 yards to the front of the green. Completely blind shot. I've got to trust my line here completely. That should be a line. That could be brilliant. Great shot. 10 foot birdie chance. 10 foot birdie chance, that's what we like to hear. It's pretty much dead straight and straight downhill. Come on, nice roll. Oh, it bounced a bit. Just such a bad putt. Ah, big chance there, wasted. Big chance. 16th hole, par three, beautiful little hole. 111 yards it is. Hole in one time. I think it is. Unless doing... you can't do it, because if you can't do it, that's fine. Admit now. I can't do it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> right, I think I've got 56 in hand. I'm and going 50. I'm very, I don't, personally for me, I don't even think it's a full four on them. It's just a just nice strike. It. Oh, this actually could be in the hole. This could be in the hole. This could be in the hole. This could be in the hole! <gasps> Had a look. For me, that looks so close. I think it's pitched. Fairly close then, spun back as well. How hard did you hit that then? 97%. So do you think it, I should stick with 50 or go 54? To be honest. I think 54. Okay. You know what I like about old Shieldsy? You won't see it on the camera, but there's a few people watching over there. A few over there. 
bit of pressure on, he delivered. Call the post, man. <laughs> Seven people watching <laughs> and, you know, I can do it. That's going to be closer. Oh my God, that was even better. Spin. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ridiculous shots. Nobody's watching. <laughs> it worked. People go, oh my God, oh my God, it's Guy Charlie. <laughs> that was so good. So Rick's shot was a great shot. I thought mine was really close. Look at that. Oh my God. Wow. So close to Wow. Oh my God. I've got to thank my caddy, because I was going to hit a 50 degree all day long, and if I had done that, it'd have been over there. <laughs> so I hit a 54, which I did. And there you go. That is one of the easiest to knock it in. birdies. Does this deserve a bit more birdie sauce, so like a bigger explosion? You ready? Do a tiny little dribble. Nice. Nice. Right, come on, join me. Oh, my putting has been dreadful today. Ah, oh, sorry, pal. I wanted to join you there, mate. But... It's okay. No oh, good. Not close enough. Right, 17th hole. After all the drama of the last hole, par five. Back home now. This and a beautiful par four. I need I need a birdie to get in under 75. And uh, you're six over now. I'm six over, so my goal is you break 80. You played those last three holes in level par, and you've gone birdie, double, birdie. That's what I do. Come here to entertain. <laughs> I want to be the, like, you're obviously a good golfer. I want to be the relatable guy that goes double bogey, birdie. Why not? <laughs> relatable guy that's hold a 50-footer, <laughs> then does double, and then nearly holds it. I have lost three golf balls, so. But what a good golf course this is. Never played it before. This is only half an hour away from where I live. Rick's obviously played it before. But this is one of the best in the area. Serious so good, golf yeah. course, this. Is it kind of at the clubhouse? Straight at the clock? clubhouse. Straight at the clock. Right. It's pulley, but it's a bit all right, that. Yeah. Great shot. So I found mine. Rick's just ahead of me. It's in a weird light. It's, um, it's not so bad that I should have to chip out back into the fairway. But it's not good, that good where I can have a real go with the green. So I'm kind of stuck in the middle, really. So I'm going to hit an eight iron out of this long stuff and just try and get it somewhere upwards towards the green. It's 180. So I don't think I'll get there with this, but ideally just get it upwards and then see what we can do. That's a bit toey, but is it going to go? It's up there. I did all right. Um, I am. Um, I need to make birdie. I'm three over with two to go. Um, I'm 175 from the middle of the green, 186 to the pin. Hmm. Why well, is not bad? I've got my hand currently on seven, but I just don't know if I might switch to eight. I just feel like, yeah, I'll go seven. It's slightly into breeze. Okay, come on, Shields, middle of the green. Simmer. Hmm, pin I left, but might be in a bit of bother. Okay, so we've. Finished left of the green, pin high, good for distance, but just overdrew it. But I'm in, just come have a look at this. I'm in a really, just a, not a nice lie. I have been a lot more confident with my wedges recently, but just behind the golf ball, it might even be a tree root. It's kind of slightly upward, slightly protruding, which is making it harder for me to get the club behind the ball. I've got options to play because I can go low and run it up there, which I think is what I'm going to have to do. Uh, it's just about touch really and listen if you've watched this far on this video you know that my touch hasn't exactly been stellar today and you like put it with an eight iron and just get it running up that hill that was the right idea i still want to leave it short and roll back down the hill ah that's the thing that's probably eluded me a little bit today a lot of lot of bad bad putts and you know distance control has been weak okay it's the big putts for birdie i don't feel like i deserve a birdie on this hole but i'd happily take one of course no oh, it needs to hit it that's pathetic everything's led to this moment <laughs> those early three putts have all led to this the nice hold bird okay you can do it off the face, nice. 
all that was oh, missing left stunk, all yeah. day. How is it miss right? That literally got to here and I was convinced it was going to miss left and it somehow missed right. That's a really bad boat par that. Ah. Okay, last yeah. hole. What a great golf course. Fun day, some good golf, some bad golf, some horrendous golf. <laughs> but what do you need to do to break 75 then? Birdie it. Birdie it, great. So you get a birdie. That's all you got to do. Yep, fine. Just, just three shots from here. That's all I need. Bit toey, pulley, but it should be okay. That should work fine. It's about 390 off this tee. Um, a huge green. So just just need to put myself down the fairway and hopefully I can pitch a nice shot in. It's been a strange day today. I said from the tee, from the opening of this video, I wasn't, wasn't quite sure which way it was going to go. To be stood on the 18th hole with a birdie to break 75, I should probably take really. I also feel like there's been a lot of shots left out here today. Before it starts raining and throwing it down, let's finish off with one more birdie. It'll be okay, I think. This green is 52 yards long from front to back. I'm in a stick rough down the left and I need to get up and down. This is shot number 73. Pitching wedge in hand, slightly into breeze, but not a lot. It's a snaggy little lie, but I've just got to hack it and chop it and get it running up there. That could be good. If it takes a big kick, that could be very good, Rick. That could be very good. Still going. It's perfect. It's literally going to be 10 foot. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, 10 foot away. Nice. Well Sometimes done. Sometimes it's not the beauty of the shot. It's the end result. Great shot by Rick, that really good shot. So my goal is break 80, so I can shoot seven over par. I'm currently six over par. So fingers crossed I've got a good chance of doing this. Rick's inspired me. I know what to do. Can land it a little bit short and run it. 125. Oh, that's come out so hot. That needs to get down. Oh, that was bad. Bunker. I think. I think after you saying all round, you've not been in the bunker. It was always going to happen. You can't go 18 holes and no bunkers, or I can't anyway. <laughs> At least I can make bogey though, so I can get out at two put, get my 79. Oh, I'm walking up here, and I, and I shouldn't be gutted. I shouldn't be. I need to check myself because it landed way short. It wasn't a great shot. And it's ran, and it's ran, and it's ran. And it's had a look past the hole. By the way, I just love this clubhouse. It's so nice. And just carried on. And from back there, it did look closer. We probably got about a 20 footer for Birdie to shoot 74. So Rick has the whole lap, which I think he's got a good chance of doing. I've got, I've got faith in him. I can chip out and two put for 79. I'd love to just chip out and one put. Wish me luck, everybody. I'd love to break 80 today. Bite hard. In. Oh, what a shot. So whilst Rick is eyeing up his putt, it's a big putt, and I'll try and clean mine up. Love to knock this one in. Yeah, what an up and down. Well 78, done, very happy with that one. Really good. Come on, Rick. Right, it's been a, an up and down round of golf. Some ups, lots of downs, but this putt, this one putt is to accomplish our goal for today. Come on, Rick, this is it. I must admit, I feel next to no confidence in it, but... That could be a good sign. I might be surprised. He's gone for it. He's gone for it. <laughs> That's been the narrative of the day. It really has. I've been four or five feet out on my putts all day long. Come on, tidy it up. 75 in the can. Good I golf quite course. Like the three, I quite like the three putt. You have done it well today. Yeah, so. I don't actually mind if this three putts. It's like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the 75. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is just definitely going to miss? <laughs> Come on. 
Yes. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Well, that was a well topsy turny round of golf. Thank you, pal. Well played that for you was as a well. Good one. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. That was uh, first golf for a long time, and it wasn't terrible. Top off one more time for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little treat for you. See you next time.